Hello everyone and welcome back. Well, we got the Mossberg MC1 back here on the table with my Sig Sauer P365. I thought we'd take a look at the two of them together and go over some of the specs. Let's see what we got. Now, first things first, we've got both of them have been cleared multiple times. They both have the flush fit magazine in them. The flush fit on the Mossberg holds six rounds. The flush fit on the P365 holds 10 rounds. The pinky extension magazine for the P365 also holds 10 rounds. The pinky extension magazine with the Mossberg seems to hold seven. The flush fit did not quite fit seven. I could squeeze seven in there, but the spring was compacted more than this one i probably wouldn't even carry this one with uh seven rounds in it it just seems like it's a little too tight down there it may be designed i should probably open up the destructions and see if this is supposed to be a seven round magazine but it will hold seven maybe by accident now, first thing we'll take a look at is take a look at the unloaded weight of the two of them. Obviously, loaded up the P365 is going to be heavier because it has four more rounds of ammunition in it. But our unloaded weight for them is 19 ounces for the Mossberg. And we have 18.5 for the P365. So there is a little bit of an advantage to the P365. Let's see what we got when we add four rounds of ammo to it. All right, so with four rounds of ammo extra, looks like you're going to gain about an ounce over what the Mossberg would would weigh. But it's also four extra rounds of ammo. So there we go. We've got the weight of the two of them. You take a look at them side by side here. And the back of them are lined up. You can see that the Mossberg is a little bit longer I'd say about half an inch there they are sitting both on their flush mount base plate they're both about the same height which is fairly impressive as as tiny as this uh, P365 is if you look at them for the grips though at Mossberg even with the single stack grip is a lot bigger than this P365 grip unless you get uh, your trigger guard is a little bit lower and it's a little bit thicker wider on the grip here so take a look at them now Springfield I'm gonna go down to your widest point which is going to be your slide lock here Because the slide itself should be just under an inch about nine tenths of an inch there if we go down to our widest point which is where the slide lock is that is just under an inch I mean barely under an inch so we got about an inch there at its widest point I don't think that magazine release comes up further. I would say that the widest point on your Mossberg is going to be the magazine release. But as you can see, we've also got the frame comes out a little wider there. So it's about, to my eye, it's about the same uh, distance coming out here as the slide lock. So we'll check it there. 
and the Mossberg comes in at just over an inch. So, yeah, this one is just barely over an inch. This one is a little bit more than an inch. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit less if you come down here to the to the grip. So the slide is the widest point on this. Now, as far as triggers. Mossberg has a flat trigger. It's got a good break on it. It's got a fairly short reset. Nice and audible. And you don't have much take up on it after reset. P365. Doesn't have quite as much take up. And it's got a little bit longer reset on it. It's still very tactile. Definitely you're going to know you're, that it's reset as well as you're going to know any gun in the middle of a firefight. But there is... To come out, there is no take up again after it resets it is right there on the brake so let's take a look at the uh, trigger weight on them so we'll do the p365 first Got about seven pounds. And about five and a half. And about six and a half. Five and a half, about five and a half there. So our average weight on the P365 was five pounds, 13 ounces for the trigger pull. And that's got about 500 rounds through it. Doing the Mossberg here. About five and a half. A little over five and a half. That was about five, four and a half rather. That was about four. And that was about five. So our average for the Mossberg was four pounds, 14 ounces. So that is about a pound lighter than the P365 was for trigger pull. This is brand new, hasn't fired a round out of it yet. So about a pound lighter on trigger pull on that. Now this one has no rail on it. This has a SIG specific rail. The Mossberg has standard three dot sights. The SIG P365 um, with the newer versions came with the night sights with the x-ray sight on the front. Takedown for the Mossberg is lock and slide back. Push this button, pull your uh, rear plate off the slide, pull the striker out, and then release the slide lock and the slide comes up. The SIG, lock it back, turn your takedown lever, unlock, it comes off. 
don't pull the trigger on this one either. I prefer this takedown. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Captured guide rod here, captured guide rod there, barrel side, etc. P365, put it back together, run it back, and it flips your slide lever or your uh, takedown lever back up. Now, I have had an issue. Sometimes this will turn when you've got it apart, and then you have to play with it and get it back so that you can put it back together. It's not a big deal, it's just it can be a pain in the ass if this turns on you once it's apart. But there is the Mossberg MC1 versus the P365. I would still prefer the P365 because it's got, even though it's a proprietary rail, it's still got a rail on it so you can get the light or the laser from SIG if you want it. This has the night sights, has four more rounds. Mossberg has a nice trigger. Uh, trigger was a little lighter. It's also got the trigger dingus on it if you feel you need that and it's got a flat trigger if you really want the flat trigger. And it's considerably cheaper than this. I paid about $350 for this, paid about $6 for this. So you're definitely paying for the SIG, you're paying for the night sights, you're paying for the the fact that this is a 10 plus one other than that i'm going to take this out to the range here in the next couple days put a few rounds down range see how it holds up and we'll have a video on that so there was the p365 versus the mossberg mc1 like share and subscribe Keep an eye out for a range video on this. And until next time, stay armed, stay vigilant, stay safe.